Tom Nelson here at the Outdoor Line, and one of the most effective ways to get bit downrigger trolling is using anchovies or herring inside the Rise Davies helmets. I got an anchovy over here. Come on over, and I'm going to show you how you rig this thing. I like maybe a finger between the hooks for anchovies, and my final placement of the hooks is going to be roughly this location. Okay. So once you get your hooks tied, we're going to go ahead and thread the Rice Davies head. All right. First, we're going to pick. We're going to go ahead and drop it right in that blister. Then into the slot. Back out the back, and we're gunning for this nostril hole right here. So we're going to come from below and slide it right out that nostril, grab it, and there we are rigged. I'm going to go pull it all the way to the hooks. Okay. We get her threaded. I'm going to grab our anchovy, slip it into the head. All right. Then we're going to go ahead and pick him right in there with one of the big holes. And we're going to kind of watch, watch that come out the back. So now he's pinned into the head. Now, we, we, we want to make sure that when we get this, when we pull it tight, that we have a little bend, not that much of a bend in the herring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop these hooks in here, just about even with the dorsal fin. Make sure that back hook pays straight out the back. Drop that in. I'm going to pull a little tiny bend in them. Then, taking a toothpick, I'm going to come in the back of the anchovy holder, push that toothpick in, and then break it off. What that's going to do is provide tension to keep the very graceful small bend in that anchovy to provide that quick little bullet roll. We want this thing rolling through about an inch and a half piece of pipe with no tail flop. So now we've got it rigged. That's what she looks like. Let's put it in the water and see how she spins. So that's the basics on how to rig up that Rise Davies bullet roll head with an anchovy, but you can use the same head with red, yellow, or orange label herring and get a lot of the same results. I'm Tom Nelson the Outdoor Line, and that's a great trick to put a big Chinook in your box.